Hello Sagittarius viewers, I am back. I know I've been gone for quite a while, but I'm still doing private readings. My email is right below in the description box. The email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. I appreciate you guys engaging with my content, you know, liking, sharing, commenting on the video, even just commenting a heart really helps me out a lot because it gets me back in the algorithm, gets my, you know, YouTube videos promoted again, subscribing to me if it resonates, you know, I really appreciate the engagement. I, I started doing a reading for you guys and I got a message for someone specific, this is for a few people in this energy group, I suppose. Um, it was somebody that's trying to leave an abusive or toxic situation. This could be like a roommate situation or a, uh, abusive relationship. And I was basically getting the energy that there is, I, I got the mature man and mature woman card. And I, I basically got that, you know, some of you can move back in with your parents or with somebody else. There is potential there. There is support, unexpected support, be it a shelter, be it, you know, living with, with friends or family, uh, getting a loan, like you do have options, you do have ways to get away from this person if that's for you. And I also got another energy about clearing rumors up, any rumors that this person might be spreading, basically speaking your truth. A lot of people don't know your side of the story. So anyway, that was only for a few of you though, so that's why I made that a separate video. Um, you can look back for that. It's it's not even labeled under Sagittarius. It's just going to be a random video that I'm posting. So check my channel for that if you are resonating with that. But let's get into the reading for the majority of you since that's that's not for most of you. Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Some of you are excited about a new project. It's like you're working towards something, new love or a new project. Nine of Cups is like wishes granted, Eight of Wands, and it's coming in quick. It's like you're moving quickly towards this. Ace of Pentacles, that's like a new start, especially with something in the physical world. You know, Pentacles is about like finances, like money, you know, hobbies, things in the physical plane. Seven of Pentacles is putting the time and work and effort. The the Yeah, and, and Eight of Pentacles studying studying three of wands um yeah you're studying something you're putting a lot of energy into something the wheel the five of wands the emperor let's see here the four of swords can you guys see that sorry <laughs> so we have the wheel and the five of wands I feel like there's someone I gotta look into this because it feels like I feel like a lot of pain but I feel like the love is there it's really sad and I've gotten this I've gotten this with like one or two other energy groups um other zodiacs that I've channeled you know for for this set of readings that I did and it's really sad but it's it's almost like the love is there like but this is like miscommunication or arguments or I just kind of see it as two people that want to talk but they're not talking and it's like this person is just like the love is there but this person is just so prideful with the emperor you know that can be daddy energy but it can also be like a controlling kind of strict energy it's like this person isn't budging you know like they're not they're not wanting to budge and it's like now you have to heal from this because you're in a lot of pain and you're tired of I feel like you're focusing on yourself more. You're focusing on maybe school or hobbies or like music or just your passions, whatever you're, you know, maybe going to the gym or exercising, just whatever you're passionate about. It's it's like you're not, you're not, you're not um, focused on this anymore. But it's, so it's like you're moving forward, but you're sad. This person's still in your heart. Two of cups, king of cups, queen of wands, ace of swords. Let me put these cards up here. Sorry, I got to get a better setup here so so you guys can see all the cards. <laughs> Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords. Oops, sorry. <laughs> King of Ooh, two men here, okay. <laughs> two men or two women. Four of Cups, the Hermit, ooh. 
Okay, I have to look into this more, but I honestly feel like this is your person. I feel like there's a miscommunication. I'm getting a major energy of miscommunication. Either they really misunderstood something and they thought you rejected them or that you cheated or that you hurt them or vice versa or maybe both of you. Because I'm honestly getting a major energy of misunderstanding. And I feel like you're both very strong people and I feel like you're both prideful in a lot of ways. So it's like you're both not wanting to budge. It's almost like there was like an argument or like miscommunication. This could even be a situation where maybe like they weren't, they were waiting for you to pursue them and you were also waiting for them to pursue you. So like they assumed maybe they're used to people chasing them and you didn't, cha you didn't pursue them. So they assumed you weren't interested and maybe the same for you. Maybe you're, you know, you wanted them to pursue you. So it's like you guys are both just like waiting for each other and you're both feeling rejected by each other at the same time. You know, they might have figured that, you know, you would have pursued them if you wanted to. and But it, it's like you were assuming the same thing. Um, but there, for others, I feel like there is... <laughs> for someone, I'm seeing a club. Now, this is only going to resonate for like one or two of you. But there was like an argument at like a club or there was... There was something that was like miscommunicated. It could have been when like somebody was like drinking or like under the influence of something. There might have been something that was said or like a rumor. It just like there's some kind of th there needs to be clarity is basically because I'm getting such a sad energy here that there is like soulmate or like twin flame love here. And I feel like when this person sees that you're like sad or like healing, it's like they want to come to you as like the king of cups instead of the emperor. They want to be more gentle. They want to be more open with you. They want to give you this love offer. Um, I'm going to look more into this energy though, because it's really sad. It just feels like, <laughs> I don't want to say a missed opportunity because it honestly does feel like you and this person are actually right for each other. Like this doesn't, and you know, only take this if it resonates. Don't try to make it fit if this doesn't resonate. This, this is not somebody that's like abusive or toxic or any way. Like that's, it's, it's, that's not what I'm channeling here. I'm channeling somebody who is a good person, but you guys just misunderstood each other on something. It might have been something that you said or they said, like they might have said something. It might have been one of those things where like someone was more sensitive and you might have just said like, it could have been something little. Like you might have, someone might have even been venting about like, oh, I, you know, I never found the right person or, or this or that. And they were trying to open up and tell you like what they've been through in relationships. And someone just took that as like, you know, oh, you're not the person for me. Or it's, it's something like that where there is some kind of miscommunication. Um, it's going to be different for everybody, but I'm going to look more into it. But I almost feel like you're trying to date new people or you're trying to, you are dating somebody new or you're trying to attract somebody new with this King of Wands. It's like you're kind of in this mentality of like, screw this person. I don't want this then. I want, you know, my match here. And sorry about that. And it basically just feels like. It's, it's like you want your match here and it basically just feels like there's like this stagnant energy. It's like you're telling, you're trying to convince yourself you want somebody else, that you want somebody new or you're dating somebody that doesn't resonate with you and you're trying to convince yourself it's for the best. But it's like there's this stagnant energy, this like hermit where you still feel kind of alone. Something feels off. Yeah, because honestly, both of you and this person, this emperor that, you know, has the King of Cups side, it's like you both want to build together long term, you know, vision manifesting. It's it's really a sad energy because it's like there's it feels like an ending here, but it's almost like, wait, wait a minute, go back. There doesn't need to be an ending here. Like this is real love. This doesn't need to be an ending. You guys got to put your pride aside. There's something you're not seeing here. Um because it felt like a betray. It's like you have all this good energy, but then it felt like like you felt betrayed or you felt. What was this? Um... It's like it's like you're having anxiety about something, but it might it's not even it didn't even happen. Like it's not even I don't think this person betrayed you. I think that you assumed they betrayed you or vice versa or you miscommunicated and you somebody felt rejected when it wasn't actually rejection. Could be an argument too. You guys got in an argument and like you said things you didn't mean and maybe you never cleared up what was said. 
something like that. But it's like there needs to be communication here. There needs to be clarity. And you guys can get back on track and fix this because you both really love each other and you both really want to fix this. Pause, reflection, rest. Yeah, yeah. If you take the time to meditate, you're going to see a new perspective on this. Like, like listen to your intuition. Go back. It wasn't what you thought it was. It's There's... There's more to this story. Um, show me what this. Show me more about this miscommunication. Show me more what this miscommunication was. Yeah, over someone being in their head, overthinking, overanalyzing, self sabotage, and it was something that was like mysterious. Like they didn't. It's almost like illusion kind of energy. Like it was a mystery to them. Like they didn't. They misunderstood something, and they just assumed. You know, truth, clarity. Taking it slow, pulling them in, sex, seduction, fear of commitment. Some of them, like, some for some, I feel like they really thought you cheated or you thought they cheated. It could be, like, you saw them with someone, but it was actually, like, a family member or a friend or, like, vice versa. Or, like, maybe they, like, had someone on their social media they were, like, with all the time. And you're, like, oh, like, who's that? And it, like, wasn't... Maybe it's one of those things where they were like trying to not not that this is okay, but like maybe they were trying to make you jealous or something. And like you thought they were just like with that person, like they were in love with them and they were actually really missing you and they were trying to make you jealous. Or it was like a family member or a friend and you were just kind of upset because you're like, well, who is this person they're with all of a sudden, you know? But it, it, it's like kind of like the energy where it's like, look back, like it's it's not what you think it is. That just keeps coming up. It's not what you think it is. Yeah, you're both missing each other. You're both, it's so sad because it's like you're both just like so sad over each other. You're, you're both thinking about each other every day. You're both dreaming about each other, fantasizing about each other. You're longing for each other. You're both wanting to reach out. And this pride and stubbornness gets in the way. You're both very strong people. And, you know, the issue is you're both waiting and hoping and praying for the other one to cave and reach out first. You know, you see these two people, it's like they're in the same room. Like they don't want to be away from each other, but they don't want to like admit defeat. They don't want to open up, but they don't want to be away from each other either. So you guys have to work through this energy and you have to honestly both be willing to be vulnerable. You guys got to both be willing to be vulnerable to commute. You need to have a heart to heart conversation with this person, you know, that, that needs to take place. There needs to be honest, open communication because there's some kind of mix, mix up, some kind of misunderstanding. And when you guys clear that up, you're going to be like, you're going to be so relieved. You're going to be like, oh my God, like I misunderstood this. Like, wait a minute, we are on the same page. Like we do both love each other, you know, um, whatever it was. And like I said, for some, it might not be an event. It might not be, it might just be simply that neither of you reached out so you just kind of assumed the other one wasn't interested when you guys were actually both waiting for the other one to reach out first but whatever it is it's like you honestly are on the same page like you both have the same amount of love for each other you both really want to be together like just just stop stop pretending you want to be with these other people like and get you guys need to fix this. Honestly, you guys need to fix this. There's so much love here. There, there's such a strong connection here. But you guys have to learn to communicate with each other. Because you're both very, very strong, very independent people. And, you know, those personalities can clash. And it's not saying to give up your strength, but it's like you guys both have to be willing to have that soft side. You guys have to both be willing to be wrong sometimes, to say sorry sometimes, to admit your mistakes, to, you know, you guys both have to be willing to be vulnerable and open with each other. Otherwise, it's going to be like this, this cycle that just repeats where it's like you guys come back together and then you trigger them or they trigger you and there's arguments or there's miscommunication or you guys just don't talk for a while. And it's like, it's like, but all the, all the same time, it's like, you're both wasting time because you both really love each other and want to be together. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, for this to work, there has to be honesty. There has to be clarity. There has to be consistent, open, honest communication. There has to be, um, willing to be vulnerable, willing to let go of the pride, willing to, you know, to be open on on both sides you know what I mean there has to be this compromise otherwise you guys are just going to stay in this energy prideful stubborn you know not talking not communicating clearly if you are even actually talking 
um, just waiting for the other one to budge. It's like you guys have to meet each other halfway. Yeah, just confirming, you know, vulnerability, receptivity, betrayal, jealousy, conflict, cold, guarded, distrusting, loneliness, emptiness, magic, intention, manifestation, power. It's like you guys are both like feeling lonely and upset over something that didn't, it wasn't even what you thought it was. Risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear, manifesting this. For some, it was like about like an ex or like maybe someone like at a club or a party. Make your move, green light, apology, regret. Hesitation, mixed feelings, fast moving energy. For some, it might even be like you guys didn't talk for months and they just thought that you didn't want them. So they got with somebody else and you were probably like, oh, like, were they with this person the whole time? And it's like they're trying to make you jealous or they're trying to, like, distract themselves from you. It's like you guys are both, like, trying to distract yourselves from each other. And it's like just admit how you really feel to, to yourself and to each other. You know what I mean? Um but it's a beautiful energy, honestly. It, it's saying there's there's still love here. It's it's saying go back and and change your perspective and and give something a second look here. So I hope that can I hope that helps you guys. And like I said, please uh comment, share, subscribe. You know I'm trying to get back in the algorithm with YouTube. Get my videos you know out there again. So I really appreciate the engagement. Thank you guys.